understanding the truth about business and how it affects our society's morality. What is morally correct today? A business can be something as small as a lemonade stand that you would see at the end of the neighborhood block to multi-million dollar companies that have great influence on the world. To deeply understand how a business affects morality, we must be able to identify the primary goal of a business and try to figure out what their true intentions are. Generically, a business has a motto that usually sounds good to the people, but is still professional. We must realize that a business can start off with a goal or purpose to achieve something toward the greater good. However, in the future, there is a high chance that the company will be corrupted by the natural greed of man. Once a company becomes very large and profitable, the original goal in most cases will be tainted. I say this partly because any successful business owner would hire people that will bring their company to the next level or at least have the best interests of their business at hand. These top managers or partial company owners completely immerse themselves into the business and will generally do what they must to gain profits, power, etc. for the business with or without you. By focusing only on the success and not the negative influence that is also produced will lead to moral disaster. Money is the root of all evil. The use of money as a necessity is not bad, but the love of money is where the corruption begins. No matter what anyone says, the true goal of many businesses today is to try and make large degrees of cash. If a company did not make money or have some way to fund their business, then it will fail. So what can we do knowing that success defined by man will lead to moral deficiency? No money, no business. We need to survive, right? So basically, the only way to survive is to follow suit with everyone else and the system that is presented to us. Sadly enough, this is not the truth. The reason why a good majority of us believe this is true is because the people we look up to are also misled. Man has made it obvious what they want the human life to be. We are born to work. We will hopefully bring something into society that will deem us worthy and in return, we will be remembered. When we die, the amount of people who recall us by name or otherwise from our contribution to society is the goal we were supposed to strive toward. Man is now God due to contrary slash false principles and the true God is irrelevant from their perspective. If God is irrelevant, then the morals we live by and follow can be changed. In our society, it's okay to abort babies. It's okay to like the same sex. And you can do whatever you want to do if you obey the law. People like to give excuses to do evil things, or at least try to justify their actions to continue in their act by believing and supporting false ideals. On top of that, companies realize this and will give the people what they want by exploiting their desires. To escape reality and enjoy a false sense of happiness is a lie. A business will gladly indulge into this because it will bring them profit from just about everyone and allow them to dig deeper into our wallets. For example, Disney has become so influential, money driven, and powerful that people do not even realize how serious this is. If life was a game of Monopoly, Disney would nearly have bought the entire board. They control just about everything we watch now and will watch in the future. Me personally, I feel people can do what they want to do. It's their God-given right. However, an important goal of life should still be toward truth and good morality. Media is not a representation of this. The media is cramming things down our throats so people can change into the direction they want us to go and pollute the minds of the youth before they even had a chance to choose what is right. For better or worse, they want to keep things fresh and new. Entertainment, excitement, and evolving. This is their goal in my opinion. 
Every day, we constantly hear them talking about the deaths of people in such a way like it's a normal thing. Other social media and TV shows are constantly cramming the gay or bisexual agenda into everything. I understand not all people are religious, but dang. Let's be honest, I never see anyone promoting God into any of these TV shows, and if they do in some, it comes across as mocking, falsely represented, or completely wrong. Personally, I read the Bible and listen to the entire thing online. I think it's crazy how accurate it is about the world's circumstances around us and what our world is turning into. We do not learn from history, it seems. It's truly crazy. What is morally right now? What is morally correct in our society? The way I see man's morality is so fickle and controlled by the wealthy that it astounds me. The worst part of it all is that people do not even realize it and will even watch it on TV completely ignoring it. Companies make their profit off of the people. It's a cycle. They keep making this huge unnecessary amounts of money and want to always find something new to keep the attention of the people they're getting it from. Just to keep making money, they promote evil things and do so in a way to make people not morally care about what they see or interact with. The simple fact that we all drive by homeless people and assume they are going to do drugs with the money we give them, which makes us do nothing, is wrong. For anyone who gives this reason to do nothing, there's always water, there's always snacks, there's always something you can do. You don't always have to give money. Also, you have to realize doing the morally right thing is a choice. If you can, you should. If you can't, then don't. But at least do not lie to yourself about it. If you do not understand what I'm saying, think of it like this. If you see a group of black people doing bad things, will you just assume and condemn our whole race of people to doing the same things? People do, and all that does is spread the hate and won't fix the problem. We accept the evil things we watch, do, and say just because everyone else does, not realizing that it is based off of what businesses have created in order for them to keep money flowing in. At the end of the day, it is truly sad. Our success comes in our loss. We are destined to lose the battle, but our victory is inescapable.